Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure in Imperion, or however you called it. So, what is going on? Am I really playing this game? I think so. I think I really am. There'll be iron deposit over here somewhere. Yeah, okay. So, what the heck is this game? Now, yeah. Why am I playing it? I have no clue. All I know is it's an early access game and the price was right and so it suckered me in. As always, these games always sucker me in. And uh, so I wanted to check it out and see if it's worth the money or not. I know I've been watching a couple YouTubers out there or, or a few YouTubers out there playing this game and I don't know. It's, it's, it's interesting is all I gotta say. So let's get started. So what the heck is Imperion a Galactic Survival? Well, it's basically a 3D open world space survival adventure. I'm just grabbing my paper here. Where you can fly across space and land on planets. So that's kind of cool. So what am I going to do right now? Well, we need to check out our ship. Because we've crash landed on this planet here. So let's grab all of the stuff that's in these boxes. I remapped the keys so to where F is the the open uh, or interact. Um, you know, where F is the one to interact with the the units, right? So for example, like these oxygen tanks, F, and then shift left click to quickly put that in there, and then F to close it again. And so kind of like a few other games that do the same kind of you know, idea, which is pretty cool. So we got that. We searched those boxes. I know we got a couple boxes over here. Let's see here. Oh yeah, there's that. And then there's this stuff here. I wish there was more visual settings. I'd go into the options, but the options kind of you crap out when you kind of mess around in there. Uh, here we have our fuel tank for our ship. So I'm just going to sh shift click them all in and then sh shift click one out. So I have one extra because we need one for our oxygen generator which will help us create oxygen so Imperion is a a game where you can build explore and fight so fight as in let's see here we got right here projectile pistol so you can you shoot it and all that fun stuff you can reload it uh, there's no reload animations of course which is disappointing uh, it looks like I can't you aim or do your iron sights down the you know, the gun, which, again, it's another fundamental FPS thing to be able to do the iron sights. So that's, for me, that's important. Um, because it just allows, you know, that much easier. Even you know, though you have the crosshair there, I would prefer them almost to you kind of get rid of the, the crosshair. And have the crosshair show up when you you go down the, the iron sights. Right? So, and with that, let's see here. What else can we do? There's, uh, you can fly around in, sp in space and on on planets. Uh, obviously, we're here in, in on this planet uh, called Omicron, I guess, or whatever you call it. Up there, that's probably another planet that you can actually fly to. And then there should be, there's that planet. So there's this one. There's that one you can fly to. And what else is there? I think there's one over there as well. You can kind of see it in the horizon there as it's coming up. I think that's another planet because I think everything slowly rotates as you're on the planet here, as you can see, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm not sure how robust the system is. I'm not sure if you can, say, fly a big capital ship in and you launch your rockets on the planet's surface, if those rockets will come down and actually come onto the surface or maybe there's a big beam cannon there's a jetpack you can do which is J just kind of space and hold to kind of activate it and you J to turn it off because you can only sprint with it deactivated so that's kind of cool there's building and construction of capital ships small vessels ground vessels as well as space and planetary stations here in Imperion and then there's a survival mode where we need oxygen, as you can see in the bottom left-hand corner. There's, we also need some food. And, of course, we have health because you can die. <laughs> uh, there is multiplayer play with this game. It is a mining and resource gathering game. You definitely. So, 
kind of like akin to Minecraft or Starforge or Rust, Arc, whatever. The mining here and everything reminds me of Space Engineers just because of the way the voxel train is handled. So, yeah. It's kind of interesting. There's also a crafting system to this game, which is quite extensive. There's a crafting unit that I kind of briefly opened up back at the, the ship there. And there's also a farming and food system in the in, in the game. So basically, for its your early access state, it's a fully playable game. Uh, it does have, of course, its bugs as always. <laughs> I, I've I've yet to see a game out there on the market that comes out without any bugs. There are a few that you know, do pull it off well. Uh, but the FPS thing is very very important. So not to mention, I want to be able to control my settings in the video card. It seems like things are still cranked even though I have it kind of turned down a bit. So what am I doing now? Well we need to place this oxygen generator here. Also what's funny in the game is look there's no helmet right so we're supposed to be breathing oxygen. Not to mention why is there no oxygen on this planet? <laughs> are there no trees on the planet and, and that's why but if that's the case then you shouldn't be able to grow any of this stuff on the planet because there's no oxygen. Right? You should have to pressurize a place inside, or you should have to pressurize things. But, yeah, no, we'll see. We'll get into that as we play the game. Um, so, basically, why would you watch my series uh, on top of everyone else's out there? Well, the fact of the matter is, I don't expect you to watch this anymore. <laughs> Maybe after this bit, you're still watching the show. And, hey, thanks for continuing to watch. It's awesome to see people actually watching, actually your human eyeballs you're watching these these videos you know I mostly do these videos for myself just mostly to to play the game to explore the game and then to record it because I find it's it's freaking boring when you don't so I'm just trying to find a spot here that's kind of in the water the water's kind of giving me funky or the placement of this so let's place it right here because it's in the water you want to put this in the water you want to put machinery in the water, which is kind of funny. I, that's the one thing I find unusual about this. But then again, it's alpha, so what? What do you expect, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna access this by my you use or open your key, which is F in this case, and it's gonna want power supply. I could probably shift click that, and then now you see it turns on, it consumes it, be on for 23 minutes, and it looks like every couple minutes you get a bottle. So we should what get? You want like 11 bottles out of this, so which will allow us to live longer. So that's that done. Looks like we got a flashlight here. Not sure if I have to actually equip that or like this. Oh, oh. Now can you drop stuff or is it? Oh, you can drop stuff. So where did my flashlight go? Oh, there it is. There it is. Haha. <laughs> Looks like a little box up there okay that's kind of cool or like a bag or whatever so let's if I shift click this it'll go into my inventory okay here we go now L for lights that's probably only in a spaceship maybe it's just oh yeah look at that it does have a light so we'll use this at night okay I see I see okay so that's Promethean way up there so let's run back to the ship here now, I was talking about why you're going to watch my video, wasn't I? And I can't remember where I left off with that. It's so funny. I thought I had everything planned. <laughs> why would you watch this on top of other YouTubers? Well, that's right. I was saying I, you know, I didn't expect you to continue to watch. So now I'm basically repeating myself, which is kind of funny. But why would you watch? I don't know why. This is because you want to see gameplay. Um, I'm going to play this all the way through, the harvesting and everything. You know, all the thinking processes, everything. It's going to be kind of like the Factorio series I do. Just because ed editing is just a pain in the butt. That's all i got to say. Editing is a pain in the butt. So we got some Promethean pellets here. Let's see how the crafting works. So we need to put items into the inventory of the constructor. And then we need to pick. Okay, so we click on it. One, two, three, four, five. Let's create five more. And let's turn it on. See what happens. Now I think I need to turn the ship on 
for it to work. So if we go into our cockpit, turn it on. And now, let's see here. So if we go into here, and now we see it, it producing here. And I think it's going to make two. Yeah, see, that's kind of... Oh yeah, output count too. So I guess we just gotta read on the the tooltips here. Just so one Promethean ore makes ten, which then ten of those makes two you know, power generators. So that's kind of cool, All right? All right. Okay, so that's done. So we can probably turn that off. Maybe turn off the vehicle as well to conserve you know, power. Sure, we got ninety minutes. Ah, whatever. You know what? For the amount of time you play the game, probably doesn't matter. Because I'm only going to play this with all of you. So, yeah. Very interesting. I don't know. The game... I have mixed feelings about this game just because it's early access. And I was going to lean against you getting the game just from watching the other let's players play the game and other youtubers do it it's almost like the game is is limited oh look at that that's uh, a moving thing what the hell is that uh, just in case I wonder if that's a creature I wonder what happens when you die <laughs> let's see what this is let's see if it's hostile Look at this oh oh you can harvest that why that's crazy what's an alien durian sprout the alien thorn has no description that's interesting what is that I just saw the is it sunset oh okay so that's what the timer is if you look in the top right hand corner there you know it's a timer that is counting down, <laughs> obviously. And what is why is it counting down? Well, it's it's letting you know how long before sunset, right? Uh, so that's kind of cool. That's very cool. So what do we need to do now? Well, we need to think about making a base, right? We have this core here. So I think that's how you make a, ba a, a base. And why do we need a base? Well. We need a base to hang out in. We need a base to start farming so that way we can grow food because we start with a bunch of seeds, if you notice. And yeah. So why am I going to show the gameplay? Well, or why am I not going to edit the boring stuff out? Well, because uh, when I watch other people play Let's Plays or any of that stuff, they tend to cut that stuff out. And, and it kind of bugs me like unless it, this series is is planned a certain way and that's why you do or that's why you have it um, well what am I trying to say so <clears throat> yeah it's on okay well basically I don't know I don't know what I'm trying to say I guess I'm just trying to think of a justification I lost my train of thought too there. That's hilarious. Anyway, so what are we doing here? Well, we need to craft. We need a base. Okay. Let's ch let's check this out here, constructor. Okay. Um, what are these boxes? Devices. Uh, so I make a core. Okay. Cool. Automatic door. How do you make blocks? Like blocks to build with. Fridge. That's how you store food. I think food can spoil in the game that's definitely something we have to be aware of uh, we do have some ra some emergency rations in the beginning here to help us through plant grow lights regular light cargo box okay so it's obviously not this we got components which is like raw components okay weapons and items okay how about oh <laughs> building blocks Silly me. So we need hull block, eight hull blocks. What do we need for hull blocks? Um, hull blocks. Where are you? We need metal plates. Okay. It doesn't say output there, so I'm, I'm assuming one. Okay. So how do we make metal plates? Well, is that a component? Okay. 
We need five iron ingots. Okay. So we need iron ore. Okay. That's fairly straightforward then. Let's let us take these. Let us turn this off. Okay, uh, there's an iron ore here, but, uh, way down over here. So let me switch to the drill. This is how we're going to harvest. Looks like there's a light on there. Uh, we got a floating. No, we did have a floating tree there, but now it disappeared. So, this is what I mean early access. Now, I haven't transitioned, of course. You're watching me play the game for the first time. This is the experience, and you're you're following along with me. I'm just running to this spot here. Where are we? It's very dark. Very dark. I'm not gonna... I might do some editing of this. I have no idea. Uh, I don't know when I started so I'll have to you try and find it. So I'm gonna left... I think left click. Let's see if I go in, in my inventory. Uh, let's see. So left click for strong. Right click for weak. What does that mean? Weak does a little bit I think. Now, what do I pick up? Did we pick anything up? Okay. Oh, here we go. Okay, F to pick up. So there's actually balls that you pick up, these big balls here. Okay, that's kind of neat. Let's grab a bunch of iron here. You want a left mouse button, and it looks like we're deforming the land. Okay, there's a bunch of balls to pick up here. Iron balls. <laughs> the iron balls of fire. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, is that all of it? I don't know. I don't know if stuff despawns, so let's try that. Let's, let's make it make a ball here. Okay, right here. There's a couple of balls that popped out. So we're going to grab one of these. And we're going to leave that. We're going to come back to the spot. And we're going to check it out at a, a future date. So let's run towards our ship so we can process this, uh, this iron ore that we have. Let's, let's, let's check out the flashlight. So the flashlight is the same. So let's just keep the drill equipped and use that as the flashlight. It's actually not... Oh, it's kind of neat. The the graphics look kind of cool. They got neat effects. You know, it looks like they're on the right direction for it. But again, yeah, early access. I don't know. I got mixed feelings about it nowadays. You know, the only reason I picked the game up was the price because potentially with every early access, usually price goes up. But with Steam, I doubt it. With if anything, you might see specials with this game come out in the future. I'm not sure how the community feels about that or how they kind of attend to that, but uh, it's just my kind of impression of just how gaming companies you create these games and whatnot. So I'm just gonna fill up with oxygen here. Let's check out these. Okay, looks like we got a couple bottles in there. Looks like we need some more bottles in there. Let's pick up some more oxygen. Oh, we need to process the the ore. Forgot about that. And I think that uses the the crafter right here, which is turned off right now. Okay, let's build one of those. Okay. Oh yeah. See, it turns on when I turn it on. That's kind of cool. Cool feature. Cool functionality. Uh, or where is it? Iron ore. Okay. There we go. Um, shift click. What's that do? Just ten. Okay. How do you undo this? Um, I'm going to run out of iron ore. Maybe it'll stop? Let's watch it. Because how do you undo this? Or do you have to turn it off to deactivate it? Or do you click on something else? No, okay. Interesting. Uh, okay, it disappears. Okay, that's cool. I'm I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. So grab those iron ingots. Okay, now we need to make metal plates, right? So those are components right here. I think these these are it. Uh, here we go. 
No, iron ingots. I do have. Oh, no. We do. I should have put these. Actually, I should have put these right in the crafter here. Because crafter is a whole bunch of slots, right? So you technically don't need these on you. Because I don't think you can craft that stuff personally. The powder, even the raw material, we don't need. We just need placeable stuff. Uh, core, I think we use to build the other things. Uh, let's see, let's move the flashlight there. Let's filler and flatten tool. Um, projectile pistol. Looks like it gives you two projectile pistols, which is interesting. Okay. I thought that was another tool, a third tool, but maybe I'm mistaken on that. Okay, so we got those. So how many of these do we need again? See, I wish you could just click on it if you have the right materials. So, for example, you should, I should just be able to click on this, and it should be able to craft what I want, right? So I have to do multiples of, uh, I have to do even multiples because you see, you metal plate too. So. This does output count of 10 for one. So multiples of two, I said, right? Yeah, so we'll make five plates with that. Okay, so let's do 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay, let's do 50. Okay, so that, this is the crafting timers. It's kind of neat. Not sure. Again, not sure how I feel about it. <laughs> can we look at other stuff? Yeah, we can look at other stuff while it's crafting. Okay. So I want to build a base, right? Why? Who, do, who doesn't want to build a base? So we need to build this base starter. That's how you build it. So, so we need. that's why we're building the hull blocks. Okay. And so it looks like... I think we only get one for these, but let's check that out when it, it creates it. Just to see here. Uh, let's see what pops up. One, okay, yeah, so seven of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect, so we'll let that do its thing. So basically once we place this, this is the the starter block, the core. This is what you'll you'll use to to build your base from. Let's build a few more of these blocks here. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, what's this? Ramp bottom, ramp top. Ramp steep. Is this stairs? Oh, no, window. Okay. So let's do this. Let's make this and this as well. So it looks like we're going to need to make plates. So let's make some more of those plates. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'm not sure how far these can stack. So what do we need to grab? We need to grab more Promethium. That's the next thing so while that stuff is crafting let us oh I want to make that core so let's make that core here before we take off right there B base starter yeah they need to do it where you can just click on the item and if you have the materials it'll you know like like highlight and then it'll automatically produce what it needs kind of like what factorio does that's what factorio does so you definitely check that series out if you haven't yet on my channel. I got two of them. I have a Let's Play, or sorry, a Let's Learn series, and then I have a new series I'm doing, which is based on the new Alpha 0.12 update. You know, 0.12.x, I'll say, because the X, yeah, looks like we're going to need to get some food. I know there's going to be aliens here, I think. Um... The only reason I, I know the only reason I know that is because it's obviously you in other let's plays and stuff that I've seen. Looks like I don't see anything. So, which means that five meters. Let's let's dig there and see what we get. So let's go back to our drill. Ah, it's this and stuff. Oh, hey, what's that? What's that? What's that? I hear it. Oh! Ah! Ah! That was up and close and personal. Huh. Okay, there's meat. This meat can actually spoil, I think. 
yeah, I hope that perish times in minutes. We can cook that stuff, I think, if we can cook it. So we might, I might not bother. Um, where did all that stuff go now? Because I mind. Uh, inventory. No, I don't see it here. I think it would have hopped out of here. Oh, that's pretty buggy. Hey, look at that. Okay, maybe I stopped. Ah, oh, there we go. Now I see it. So these are the little rocks that hop out. Okay, I see how this works. They don't always kind of come out. Okay. There's these big pieces that come out. So what I'm doing is I'm just push. Uh, it's it's a push and hold F. Okay, okay, there we go. No, that doesn't work. You gotta tap it. Okay. That's kind of cool. Let's dig our way out here. Let's pick up this stuff because I think this is what we use to power things with. Uh, oh, come on. Uh, Jetpack. There we go. Okay, turn it off. Can run back to the escape pod here. So now we got more power. Oh, we should check oxygen bottles. We're gonna have to power that too. Should make more power. So this is kind of neat. This is like you know, kind of what Factorial feels like—the survival aspect, where you have to you're fighting against those bars. So like we're gonna need to, to think about getting food, the stamina. Well, actually, we got the rations. It gives us time to get something established. Let's run over here. This should be done. Um, actually, no, it'd be 23 minutes, right? So five minutes. So the, cool. Cool. That works out good. So let's pop all of these in there. Oh, that see didn't it didn't pop. Shift click didn't go in there. So we'll have to right click them in there. Hour twenty minutes. Perfect. We get more bottles out of that. Let's sh shift click this into our inventory. Yeah, see eighteen. So I think those are minutes. I think those are minutes. Let's run them over this way. Go back to our ship. Let's create some more power, and then and then we'll craft some boxes up, and we'll finish the episode with me placing the the core of the base. Uh, where I'm where am I going to build? Well, I'm going to build in a little bit of a different spot. So everyone always builds right by the water. <laughs> uh, not sure why, but yeah, everyone always builds right by there. So uh, this ship I want to tear apart as well after we got the base going. And looks like the processing is done. We got the ship cords, grab that. We got the blocks. Let's grab our ramp here, which we'll need. And let's see here. What else are we going to grab? Oh, look at the ore. We've got 72 Promethium ore. So now let's, par let's process that stuff. Promethium ore. So this would be... Where are we? Here we go. Promethean pellets. I think that's all we need this stuff for. I don't think there's... Yeah, no, there's no Promethean of that. So I'm going to shift... Well, control, cl left click. That was one. Right click. Left click does the same thing. Shift, left click. So we can just do a crazy amount and it'll just make what we have here. I should make... Uh, seven, so I should actually... Do 70 here and it will make that. Okay. We need to make some power. So let's make 10, right? So let's go 10. Oh no, that's going to make 100. Ah, how do you cancel that? See, shift, left click, alt, left click. What happens if we turn it off? Can I? Oh, okay, left click drops it down that's interesting how about sh shift left click oh, okay so why doesn't it let me do it while it's on okay so you gotta turn it off to do that I never knew that I don't think anyone has explained that either I don't at least I don't remember so yeah so shift left click to drop this down and I wanted to drop it down to 65 and then just left click to do it by one so 65 65 and 
let's see, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 packs, which would, uh, should take 50 pellets, which we got a ton of, right? And that should do us really good. Yeah, let's turn that back on. Now it's it's going again. We got some oxygen bottles to place inside our ship here. See, now it's it's sunlight for 10 minutes. Let's see here. Uh, those are okay. How about these? Let's pop those in there. Okay. Let's fill up on oxygen. Okay. Let's take a look at here. Do I have, can I right click? Okay, right click looks like takes half the stack. Uh, left click, I'm gonna right click into there. It looks like you can do that, which is cool. We got med kit available, antidote pills. Ah, uh, this this is gonna go bad. This meat, I think. I wonder what happens when it goes bad. Okay, so this should do 500 food. What's 500 food? Uh, I don't know. So let us. So where are we going to build this base? Huh. Everyone builds by the water always, right? Well, if you notice, there's that big ship down there. So, what we could do... What do we need to craft a better weapon? Because that pistol is not going to cut it. So let's run back to our ship here. Take a look at that. I, I know we're going to finish with placing that block, but I just want to kind of quickly do this okay let's let's check out a weapon so assault rifle we need five metal components one electronics okay so five metal components so you need one electronics I think five metal components uh, what's the output two so two four six okay and I think that's it. We need electronics and five metal components is what we need, I believe, for that. Okay, which, which will allow me to craft that. Then do I need ammo? Is it just the 50 cal? 10, 25, 6.8 millimeters. Uh, what is this uses the 50 cal the projectile what does this use 50 cal as well interesting uh, I don't think I can do anything else with this this food no it doesn't look like it okay well let's go place the base and then we'll finish there and uh, I'll also eat the ration to see how much that heals up let's put the base there Let's put these blocks here, and let's do this block, and this block right there. Okay. Oh, I didn't uh, have to actually left click that in there. I don't like that. Okay, so let's run. Where are we going to place it? Good question. I do want to harvest that ship because I know you can get materials and stuff out of that. There's also the boxes to loot. We're definitely going to do that next episode, I think definitely do that next episode now there are other plans to explore to and I do plan on doing that and I think what we'll do is we'll just do a little bit of at each time so right now it's the base building aspect so I'm gonna build the base kinda of get that going get it self-sufficient then we're going to oh yeah that's oxygen bottles that's okay then we're going to yeah you yeah, then we'll go from there so People always want to build by the water or on the water. That's so uncreative. I can't wait for everything to be kind of like generated automatically, like you procedurally generated. Because that's so much better, so much better to deal with. Uh, where do I want to build base? It's not flat enough here. Seeing that down here we got bumps everywhere. Oh, it's such a pain. Okay, how do we flatten stuff? There has to be something to flatten. I think that's this tool. Right mouse button to flatten. Fill and flatten. That's interesting. So three. What does flatten do exactly? I'll go straight. Ah, ok, 
Okay, I see what it's doing. Is it flattening where I'm standing, basically? I think it's. I, th I think so. That's kind of neat. So it should match the height I am at, basically. Let's see here. I'm just experimenting with the the earth manipulation tools because it's part of the game, and it, that's actually not too bad. You can actually carve out yourself places and spots. Can I? What else would I need to take that? Can I use a drill on this? Oh yeah, we can, we can, but ah! Careful, careful. <laughs> Don't want to ruin the land. So let's go up here just in case. And just make sure that we flatten everything in a nice circle here. Okay, so where are we going to place this base? Probably right here. And then we'll kind of dig out the earth a bit as we go, we'll do that. So let's go seven. Oh, whoa. That's actually big. Uh, that's bigger than I expected. Okay, so let's place it right here. Left click. Bang. There we go. There's the base. Hoot, hoot. That's cool. Okay, and now we can do this. Uh, rotation. Page up, page down, stuff like that. Uh, insert. Ooh, hey, insert does something stupid. Um, shoot. No, I can't use insert because it does something funky. Um, home. There we go. So we do. We can place it in the middle, maybe. I don't know. That works. How about this one? Uh, home. Perfect. Look at that. We got ourselves a ramp. Here's our core, which is kind of a, a dumb place for it. Maybe I should have built this outward more. Oh uh, well, it's first base. What can you do? What can you do? <laughs> and so basically, with these blocks, what I plan on doing is just like this, kind of make a base. All right, kind of make a place, to kind of call home. All right. Let's see here. There we go. So we got more space. So what I'm going to do is basically work on this as we play and go from there. Uh, looks like we're low on food, so let's eat a ration here. And then we'll call it a day. A left click. Ooh, it almost heals it all up. So yeah. So thank you everybody for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. You know. I, I hate to ask, but I'm going to start asking these in these videos, kind of just only in the first video. Hopefully, if you've lasted this long, fantastic. If not, hey, whatever. So basically, um, if you can, if you like this video, then you can you give it a thumbs up, a like. If you dislike it, heck, thumbs down. I'm, it doesn't matter to me. Thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever. That's still an interaction, which means you still rank up regardless if it's positive or negative see that's what people don't realize in YouTube it's part of the the search engine optimization <laughs> so if you watch this far that's awesome and you're gonna thumb up and thumb down that's great you can you comment if you want just go for it whatever doesn't matter comments are comments people are people right and on another note there, if you liked it all and want to continue to watch my content, then you give a good subscribe there. And just check out the content daily. I, I come up with a video every day. Um, I've been doing really good since October of last year here. So it's almost been a year. And yeah, I don't know. I just do videos like this because it, it kind of allows me to play the game. It allows me to explore games um, and and potentially have somebody watch this after me or, or somebody watch me play and I don't know anyways thank you and I'll see you in the next episode bye bye everybody